Hello and welcome to the weekly edition Maze Asanteni Sana for joining us for yet another classic episode of the show. I'm your host, Dr. Kingori. Now let's start with a shout out to Mze Jonathan Maritim. He's a retired teacher from Chepseon, but at AGC. His son Mike Kirui reached out to show Mzae Wake Hako Sangi Kuwachi Wicked Edition. Silent fan number one. Thank you, sir, and God bless you and your family. Also, Asante Sana to all our supporters. Maze Mungu Bariki Sana for supporting and standing with us thus far. Amani, this far. Asante ni Sana. Now, before to figure kwa story to uh, Nawanyama, a few things we need to get out of the way. Government spokesman Cyrus Oguna this week revealed that one year after recovering from COVID-19, he still hasn't regained his sense of smell. Can you believe that? That's the government spokesman. What he says is the official position of the government. So when he speaks, that's the government speaking. What comes to mind when he says he can't smell anything? This means that serikali sai aiwezi juata kama katanuka. Now I think I'm joining the dots of why everyone is complaining about the stink of corruption in this country. No one, the government can't smell it. Anyway, on this episode, we bring you the second part of the interview with uh, Kondele OCS, the celebrated Kondele SC OCS, Mr. Wanyama. Many thanks for your feedback on the previous one. Here, Leo, my favorite beat me experience, Yake, uh, a presidential escort, detail your president Moy. We train Pia specifically hostage protection. VIP, oh, VIP protection. VIP protection. Ndiyo, ukienda escort unafanya hii. So, so VIP protection ni hile wanasemanga ti mtu waki threat president unatokea wewe upigwe risasi kwanza. <laughs> 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 wewe unasuhia vitu kama hizo isifanyike. Eh. Unakuwa na mind kwamba. Yes. Pengine muko maali. Utaona tu mtu suspicious maybe yako na kitu kama barua. Anataka aperekee president. Sasa munasuhia vitu kama hizo. Na mtu hey. mungine, anataka tu, unnecessary tu, mtu anatoka huka, anataka salimia president. Iyo ni makosa. Sasa, mtu hey. wakienda kusalimia, kukupita yu, wewe ndi uko na makosa. Yeah, wewe ndi uko na makosa, umewajiria mtu. Sababu, utawaja mtu kumba mejifunga, maybe explosives. Anahenda hapa, anajiribua. Si ah. amemalisa mwe president. That and more is coming up in a bit, and it sounds very timely. Kwanza vile mambo ya VIP protection ni meleta no my week. Mimi, Sina shida na AP wakikuja kusimamia mahali nini naishi. Ikitokea kazi ingine ambayo imetokea ya muhimu. Kwa wakenya wengine ambayo wako na matatizo. Wanaweza hata kulete G4S. Wanaweza kunisaidia hapo nyumbani. There is no problem. Now this was the DP's reaction following the switching of his security detail from GSU to AP's. Uh, as a show of good faith, the DP even went ahead uh, to share a cup of tea with the AP officers. The gesture being viewed as a clap back at those in government who withdrew the GSU officers assigned to him and replaced them with administration officers in what his allies say was a move to humiliate and expose him. Heta zola nsema ati, ina unesha DP pia natambuwa tii Kenya ndiyo karawa kufanyie kazi lazima umpe chai. That's propaganda. Now, while responding to the reports of the security officers' uh, switch for the deputy president, Nandi Senator Samson Cherargei claimed that this exposes the DP to danger. The same, same AP who pro APs who protect us. Me, me, for a moment, I thought the shift from GSU to APs was informed by the donations the deputy president makes. I don't understand why Kenyans have to politicize everything. Ati sasa mbona wanampatia security ya wananji wa kawaida. Now, hi Kenya, by the way, we politicize everything. Hi Kenya, unajua kuna mtu haamini DP ni hustler. What more proof do you need? Na kila mtu unajua, tangu handshake, DP ya na job. DP is the difference between joblessness and unemployment. Ameandi kwa kazi, but hana job. An unemployed jobless man. Baba is the opposite. Baba is unemployed, but akona job. Interesting country we live in, Mazi. But on the matters of, matter of uh, the DP security, lawyer Dan Sanomari explained the difference between GSU and AP. The DP president is a, sim a DP symbol of a national stature of a president. His risk extends outside the boundaries. Yeah. APs are able to deal with internal risks. What about external risks? If terrorists attack at the DP president's residence, are the APs equal to that task? Now, if it's true that APs can only 
protect against uh, internal attacks, then I get why some people felt that this was a downgrade. The political angle to it, another way of making sure the deputy president does not leave the country. Akitoka inje, hawezi li nduwa na AP, kama ndiyo security yake. He will only be protected by the blood. Na hii Kenya sijui ni nini na security ya ma deputies maze. Just this week, the deputy inspector general of police, um, Kingori Mwangi's home, got raided. That's a story for another day. Let's go to um, the reports that Kenyans borrow 1.2 billion shillings daily on Fuliza. That was revealed this week. 1.2 billion shillings daily. And this is the same, same country whose president <laughs> recently revealed that we lose 2 billion shillings daily. Says, about, says a lot about our economy, but not more than what Mombasa Road shows, showed Kenya this week about the economy. That was symbolic. Sema jam mazi. Pole kwa watu wenye walisafa, pole kwa watu wenye walilalauko. I saw some Kenyans complaining that uh, they were stuck at the same spot for 10 hours. Show me a better contrast to the Kenyan economy. Being stuck on the same spot for 10 years. I guess Kenyan's economic model was borrowed from the Mombasa Road of today. I stand corrected. In other news, following his declaration to run for president, a businessman, uh, Jimmy Wanjigi, revealed the following information about himself in an interview this week. My first business was garbage collection. I pioneered garbage collection in this country. Let me tell you, I began that business without a penny. Without a penny. Now, his decision to join politics can be interpreted as an upgrade. Going into the garbage business, as a, but with money this time around. Alafu mpate Jimmy Wanjigi ndiyo the origin wa ile phrase ya kiswahili ati mtu wakona pesa kama takataka. Now that said, let's cross over to the other end of this short commercial break for the final part of our interview with the celebrated Gondelia OCS, Mr. Wanyama. See you guys in a bit. Hi, I'm Dr. Kingori. There's something I'd really love to show you around this place. your home with from as low as 4.5 million Kenya shillings. I don't even need to mention it. For more information about this property, please visit www.ambavillasmalindi.com or use the contact details on your screen or click the link in the description below. Welcome back to the Wicked Edition. Now let's head straight to uh, the final part of our interview with the celebrated OCA, uh, Kondele OCS, Mr. Wanyama. What's the most dangerous place you work? Ukisema kisumu, uli learn vile una deal na watu. What's the most dangerous place you work in your 35 years experience? Tandora. Tandora ni bad news. Tandora ni bad news. Hata kusiku vaa uniform uko. Uko ni mungiki muna pika na tumujana na mungiki. Mujana risasi nalia. Umewahi kuwa kwa hizo shoot out za 2020. Sa Tandora the worst. Huko hata nimeponyoka tu kidogo kidogo. Umekuwa na moments zenye unapone na bado unarudi kazi unaacha. Former, former unawaja kwa nini? Si wewe ulikula ki hapo. Eh. eh. Si ulikula ki hapo. Na sasa wakati ulikula ki hapo. Si wewe gas yako ni kutetea inji yako. Yes. Na hii watu unaona ni criminal they are not licensed. Si mnaendelea na wao tu. <laughs> mm. Unaendelea na wao tuone nani ndio yako na training ile kali. Yes. Eh. Na mkifanya job akiwajiria hata wewe rusha yako eh, iende. Na, na ukifanya job kwa history yako kuna kuna macriminals walikuwa wanatengeneza pia CV vile wanyama ni polisi na watu wanajua wanyama. Kuna criminals pia mlikuwa mnasikia mnajiambia huyu huyu ni bad news. Yuko wengine kama wale nilikuwa na name lakini waliwawa wote. Yes yes yes. Kama this men of Muranga walikuwa ndio the dead list lakini walienda kina washushu kina wanuku yes yes hiyo ni timu yangu ile nilikuwa nayo lakini ingine ilikuwa best ni naguru ndio walikonganga kama na nani alikuwa alikongewa kapatini na guru mahali imemwaga kwa mapombe juzi imeua watu yes 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 wanuku alikongewa huko na mwingine akakongewa langata alikuwa anaitwa washushu yes, then yes, madheri yes. inigiria hii ni kwake Iyo ya madheri na kumbuka. Ya likuwa kwa kao shedi. Hapo kwa 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 shedi ya mbusi. Kodi yes. shedi. Yes. Hata kaumisa sigari yetu mmoja anatoka hapa soi. 
Yes. Mm. Na inakuanga mkishajua mtu ni mubaya hivyo. Yeah. Askari akishajua mtu ni mubaya hivyo. Tunatafutana na yeye sababu yeye pia anatafuta sisi. Na akiwa yeye ni mubaya na amekonga watu wengi. Yes. Si hata sisi tunatafutana na yeye. Na ukimupata we mnarushania tu. Hakuna hakuna hata kuulisana swali hata uende pole pole hata wewe ndiye fulani hata tafadhali nimekuja kushika. Hiyo inakuanga. Kongana kongana tu. Na ukimshika ati ati ukitafuta uki intelligence umushike hivi yeah. kuna nafasi ya kumpeleka through the whole process ya koti ama hao kuna mahali nafikanga mtu hana hiyo kabisa huyu hawezi shika na mnaiwa au hawezi kujua sababu yeye yaka amepanga kukufa wakati napatikana na kufa wanakuanga psychology wanakuanga nayo na mtu kama huyo paka mtakuta ako na pisto yake kwa kiuno anywhere yes, anaenda yes anywhere popota anaenda hawezi tembea bure hata kwa kilabu hawezi ingia kwa kilabu tu hivi hivi hakuna hakuna na hakuna na kama kuna mwingine alikuja kwa news ati akaenda kwa kanisa akasema alikuwa amevuruka furuka mahali anakaa akaenda kwa, kwa kanisa akapeana bunduki akasema yeye ameokoka kama huyo anasamehewa eh huyo huyo anasamehewa huyo huyo tunapeleka kotini anaenda kujibu ile makosa alifanya huyo ameinua mikono ukipika huyo risasi hata wewe unafanya makosa unajiletea laana na si Yesu pia amemsamehea kwa kuenda kanisa kuna gani eh eh Yesu acha msamehe state ndio inashitaki yeye sasa aliua watu wa serikali ya Kenya yes yes, yeah, yes it yes, is yes. the state that, that takes that person to court ah yeah. na kuna 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 system ingine. sababu tukimwaja watu wengi watauua watu na wanasarenda wanainua mikono peleka court ndio court ndio itapeana justice mimi siwezi fanya tu kama askari. Yes. Nifanye tu nimeamua hivi sababu yeye amefanya hivi nimemsamea hata ameenda kwake. Nitakuandika na nikupeleke nikuchukue vidole na uende kotini na zile kesi pendi. Na sio ina Siko faili mingi zinakuanga pendi. Na sio ina discourage watu kujitokeza kusarenda pia. Utasarenda na wewe ni muwaji sasa hata hata ukisarenda. Ukisarenda utasarenda hatutakuua saa hizo. Yes. Eh tutakupeleka tu kotini kupea justice uende ushitakiwe tu ufungwe kama utafungwa ama kama watakuwa quit ni juu ya koti lakini sisi tutakuwa tumefanya kazi yetu ile tunatosha tufanye ya serikali yeah. na wewe nini ilikuwa inakupatia motivation juu ka, kama mimi nilikuwa na, nilikuwa ukinipigia story yako ya ati mudhaiga uko na mtu uko na mgonjwa uko hospitali uh, unaambiwa watu wa Kisumu wameleta noma rudisheni wanyama lazima uende we, ukifika hapo na mna simuongeze pesa hauwezi Awe, sema hivyo huwezi sema hivyo sisi ni disciplined sisi kwani kuitisha pesa ni hatuna union ya kututetea tupate pesa unajua watu wako na union na sisi sisi kama ni watu kama polisi hawa na union ya kuwatetea wapate pesa ndio juzi wameanza kuleta hii commission juzi hii ya kina kabuluti yes yes ingine sijui imekuja tena wamenete vitu kama ipoa pia naona inaandika kwamba Watu wanatosha wafanyiwe hiyo wafanyiwe hivi sisi hatukuwa nayo wakati huo. Wewe unangoja tu paka wakati kama ni president atafika mahali aseme hii watu waongezwe kitu fulani wanaongezwe. Oh ni wote si ati wanyama ni mnoma sana. Si mtu mmoja peke yako. Ngumu. Eh mtu mmoja peke yako atakuongeza namna gani. Basi basi ni nini? Hata ufanye nini mzuri hakuna. <laughs> Maybe mtu hii ni good will ta aone ulifanya kazi mzuri akupee pengine 2000 5000 aseme hii ni asante wewe unifanyia kazi the whole a whole Lakini county yes, yes. yes. Eh. a whole county inaweza kukutambua hivyo kama askari but lazima u conform to system vile hiyo yes hiyo ni kazi hata za zingine asante nyingine napita kwa mkubwa na wewe si rahisi uingie kwa hiyo mkubwa huko kama kwa pipi au utaenda uulize kama iko uh, kitu alipewa <laughs> yeye atapata kwa, kwa jina lako tu na anakula yes yes eh. yes eh, kisumu kwa jina fanya... lako inakuwa ni yeye amefanya. Si unaona mwe, hata wadogo wanafanya kazi lakini mkubwa ndiye atakuwa amefanya. Yes, Inahesabiwa yes, ni mkubwa yes. alifanya hiyo. Eh. Na basi ni nini ilikuwa inakupatia hiyo motisha ya kufanya kazi mpaka watu waku respect wanakupigia mako? Nilikueleza ni kila mtu ako na hopi yake. Ah. Sasa mimi ni kama vile unaona mtu akicheza mpira, anapenda kucheza position fulani. Eh anacheza kucheza kama ni defense ama anataka awe striker huko mbele yes, yes, yes. so hiyo training za ruiru continuous trainings yes si motivate na tukapenda kazi na kuna kitu tena ulisema ikanifurahisha sana ndio udeal na crime ya Kisumu yeah. ukienda ushike mtu yeah. anafanya illicit brew yes. hauchukui hata pesa yake 
unapeleka Una. kotini na natuangwa fine na kituangwa fine mimi kama OCS yes. sio fine ndaletewa kopi ya charge sheet yes. inakuanga na kopi ya charge sheet yes. ina root station yes. yeah na hii kopi ina root station mimi naweka kwa file nikikushika tena mara ingine with the same offense mimi na na, na attach here the, the previous copy yes. so that i enhance the file the fine in court so sasa mimi sasa nitakiona copy ndio hii charge sheet anafungua naona copy ingine this is the previous one si ndakuwa naandika na forwarding letter yes, yes, yes. hii mtu alifanya hii makosa wakati fulani fulani nikaleta ukampika fine fulani yes. see the, 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 the attached copy yes. alafu tena amerudia tena na ndiye amesidi sana na imesidi <laughs> meleto mpaka <laughs> atatulali unakongwa ukikongwa vizuri <laughs> unaokoka unaenda kanisa. <laughs> Nasema mimi mambo ya pombe. <laughs> Umewacha. So umefanya watu waokoke na hapo kwa stage. Hata mali nilimalizia ni ni Mount Elkon. Yes. Wana believe kwa hiyo pombe kienyeji. Nilijaza watu kimilili kotini paka watu wakajaa makanisa. Hata ukipita tu uulize huko mali inaitwa Captama huko Mlima Elkon hapa juu. Wanakueleza wanyama alifanya kazi paka makanisa ikajaa watu mapombe yote nilimaliza yote 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 na crime ikaisha sababu mostly wa, wa walevi wa pombe kumbuka hawana source of money yes sasa wanaenda kuipia watu ndi wapate ya kukunywa na mumetrainiwa pia ana kwa training yako vile yes. criminals wanafikiria eh hey. mimi nikikusoma hivi najua wewe uko na mambo gani unaweza angalia mtu hivi ujue huyu hey. Na ukiletewa interrogation yes. eh, kama kama kuna kuna very many unresolved murder cases mm. right ulisema kitu kingine tena na interesting uh, ya ukipigiwa simu ati kuna murder case ime happen it is me the first to reach there at a duty of the akiwa jafika yes 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 most of the cases mimi ndio ya kwanza kufika na unaweza kuata baka by motorcycle si ni pike simu driver kuje duty of the kuje na gari anijukue najukua motorcycle sana sana kisumu motorcycle silikuja kitambo sana yes 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 sasa nikipika simu tu yes huwa nimekaa nje ya nyumba nimesimama nje niki receive hiyo simu yes. already niko nje kwa barabara hapo na ngoja nione kama iko pikipiki kuja kuja unipeleke mahali yes 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 uh, you've worked for president moi for mm. miaka ngapi ile 5 years umemfanyia job miaka 5 yes Uh, ilikuwa aje kufanya job na ye. do you get to meet the president tukiwa kwa presidential escort anakujua wewe ni nani as a person ama ye job yake ni wewe ukifika mm-hmm. ye yeah, anajua wakubwa tulikuwa na wakubwa kuliko sisi wakati huo yes. wakiwa waja badilisha ranks yes, yes, that yes. man was a senior deputy commissioner oh, okay. a person like samson jerambos yes, so hao ndio walikuwa karibu lakini sisi yes. ni mipango ya nini sasa sisi na we were directly responsible kwa watu kama huyo escort commander huyo. Oh mm. yes. Mimi yes, wakati huo yes. nikiwa chief inspector. Yes yes yes. Or I may be sent for an advance party somewhere. Yes yes yes. Niende ni huko na isi huko. Alafu nitampikia simu. Nimeoko na isi tumepanga hivi na hivi na hivi na hivi. Yes yes. yes. Ananieleza ni sawa. Mahali anaona iko makosa fulani ananieleza hapa rekebisha ufanye hivi na hivi na hivi. Na ni Sio nampea clear picture of the ground where they will come. Nas, nas. Na ukiwa kwa kwa convoy yenyewe wewe ni kuhakikisha tu sana sana kama mimi nilifanya position ile kare la mbele. Tena unaanga mbele imekuja hivi imeenda yes, yes. iko karibu sana kilometers ahead. Yes, yes, I normally yes, yes. used to work on that one. Oh, una pia ni special thing kuchaguliwa kuingia kwa special yes, school. Yes. Sawa sawa. Na uki, uki, ume train pia ma, specifically hostage VIP protection. Rescue. VIP, oh, VIP protection VIP protection ndio ukienda escort unafanya hiyo so, so VIP protection ni ile wanasemanga ati mtu aki threat president unatokea wewe upigwe risasi kwanza <laughs> <laughs> wewe unasuia vitu kama hizo zifanyike eh. unakuwa na mind kwamba yes pengine muko mahali utaona tu mtu suspicious maybe yako na kitu kama barua anataka apelekee president sasa mnasuia vitu kama hizo na mtu hey. mwingine anataka tu unnecessary tu mtu anatoka huko anataka asalimie president hiyo ni makosa sasa mtu akienda kusalimia akukupita hiyo wewe ndio uko na makosa yeah, wewe ndio uko na makosa umewajiria mtu sababu utawaja mtu kumbe amejifunga maybe explosives anaenda hapa anajiribua si amemaliza president
na mtu akipita asalimie president yeah. na wewe ndio unafaa kumzuia Inakuwa Sama, ni mtu aponyoke kama president mwenyewe amesema ah ah waachilia yeye akuje wewe waenda na yeye usiwaje aende bega yake enda na yeye hapo karibu ndio mlipuke na yeye just in case e, lakini sasa utakuwa hata wewe umeona vile yako ukiona ni mtu ya wasiwasi hata wewe utafunga masikia hata akisema wajiria wewe ingia naye kwa watu sukumana muende mtoke naye na, na training iko in such a way that mkiwa kwa, mkiwa mkifuata president kuna mahali ukiona mtu unaweza ona katikati ya umati ule mtu wako na nia mbaya e, unamuendea huyo simuko watu wengi mnagua watu wengi kwa hiyo ni asikari mnagua wengi sasa wewe mwenye umeona Wajia huyu mwingine in position yuko for that person. Enda huko. Yeye ama anaongea president anaongea na yeye huko anaongea luka mbaya kama matusi. Ana tukana president. Yeye unaenda unamtoa hapo na unapeana kwa 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 nini? Kwa police kwa security ya hiyo area. Na una inform escort commander. This person has been saying this and this and this. Security ya area ita DC ndio ata hand over such a case. Yes yes yes. Atajua vile atafanya. Yeye na security yake. Ai 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 ai. Na 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 kama kwa hostage rescue kuna vitu unaonanga na it's very interesting ukipeana story ya situations zenye umeona kwa TV things that could have been done different. Yes. One of your most interesting stories ni kwa wakati mlikuwa mna organize uh, torture chambers, nyayo torture chambers. No, haikuanga yetu hiyo. Eh. Nyayo torture chambers ilikuanga ya watu special, ilikuanga ya watu because kama CID na nis ndio alikuwa anafanya hiyo kazi lakini sisi regi tu kuenda huko when we went there we went only to save those officers who had been nini held hostage by that 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 trained terrorist ndio tulienda hiyo hiyo chambers tulienda tu kuokoa that senior officer ah. alikuwa amepikwa risasi na ameshikwa hostage that alikuwa, case only alikuwa na alikuwa na muinterrogate alikuwa na interrogate hii mtu hii mtu alikuwa mwa Kenya na alikuwa amekaa ngambo sijua alikuwa Norway ama wabi we don't know so while being interrogated alijukua hiyo firearm na akamtwangia firearm yake lakini na akadisiamu watu huko chini alikuwa trained enough to disarm the whole yes, place aki yes nothing nafikiri mnakumbuka mahali kujanga mahali ya mwa Kenya wakati watu walishikwa shikwa yes. hata watu wengine wako hata saa hii yes. mm. that person had trained somewhere sasa yeye alikuwa ni threat kwa serikali. Oh, mm. yes, yes, yes. So wakati anahojiwa, yeye akachukua bunduki ya mwenye alikuwa anamhoji na akamupika risasi na akaenda akadisema askari huko chini. Askari ya polisi ni uniform. Yes, yes, yes. Akawa disarm na akachukua amari yao na hiyo masilaa yote akawa in control. One man. Yes, one man. Na sisi tukaenda huko saa moja ya usiku without the map, the, the plan of the building. Lakini tukakilia huko Mulia <laughs> pika kama tia gasi tatu si tumevaa mask yes, yes, yes. ya kajimaliza ye mwenye <coughs> as an officer mwenye ume decorate umekuwa decorate mpaka after job tumekuja kukutafuta hapa mahali huko Any, anything unaweza sema ndio kukuwe na askari wengi kama hao like kwa active duty kuna kuna wanyama wengine wengi trainings watu warudishwa ngwe training training iwe iko every year at least na tena wafanyange kitu inaitwa classification. Azikari wengine walipika risasi wakati waliandikwa pengine pengine kitu 1990. Paka saa hizi they have not operated any firearm kama kupika risasi. Ye hey. anatembea tu na bunduki lakini <laughs> hata pengine kushika hiyo bunduki aemwe apike jambasi wena wena asini si okas yes. hawezi pata. Anatoka mbio hata. Eh hey, hata atatoroka hata anaweza tupa hiyo bunduki. <laughs> <laughs> so training zinasaidia. <laughs> yeah. Na wakati wakati before kuachilia uende wakati ulikuwa unafanya job yeah. eh, unasema unaenda patrol kama madhare. Yeah. Eh, kuna time yenye ulikuwa unatoka peke yako unaingia unaenda kuangalia kufanya patrol. I was working alone in town. One person. One person. 
one person your confidence iko to yes na watu na niko na jacket na nini nimebeba zangu so kitu ikikuja eh, na mwezi mmoja akisikia kama iko wengine hapo wanataka kufanya kitu hii ndiye huyu anatutafuta <laughs> <laughs> na kuna kuna Mbani. watu kuna watu wamewahi kujaribu kwa history yako ya hiyo miaka yote wamewahi kujaribiwa kisumu manyata what happened na nini na na na, na, na tandora tandora nimebuka ak mbili mara mbili yes na risasi inalima hapa na mimi naepa eh hebu tuambie na mimi nami na jipisa huko ya, ya, ya manyata ya manyata ni nini ili happen ya manyata tulienda mahali yes hiyo mahali yes. robert ilikuwa inafanyika yes. kumbe mimi nimewapita sasa wakajaribu kuchapa na ikapita tu ikanipita tu ikalandi hapa kwa nyumba ingine kwa ukuta mimi nashitukia risasi mekonga ni wewe walikuwa na pima e. Sasa kukeuka ndiyo tuanzane na nikisa yeye alijaribu kuepa ilikuwa kwa kisa. Ah. Lakini hapo ndiyo nilikuwa nimepatikana vizuri. Hapo hapo wang, wangepita na wewe. Eh, hapo nilikuwa niende. Na ya Dandora? <laughs> ya Dandora hiyo hiyo nimeponyoka ya Mungiki mara mbili, sini mbili. Kwa hiyo ma street ya Dandora iko ma street na tuleni mingi sana. Yes, yes, yes. Sasa muda alinitegea tu kwa kona. Na akapiga hapa mbele yangu tu. Nikauma e, kwa ukuta hapa mbele yangu na mimi ndiye huyu nikarudi nyuma. Nikajipinda kwa ukuta. Nikajipinda kwa ukuta hata mimi nikapika nami nikainamisha yangu nilikuwa na AK nikainamisha hivi. Nikajaribu kutwanga. Lakini hata yangu ilitwanga tu ukuta lakini yeye alitoroka. Hapo tena nikaponyoka. Huyo ni, ni wewe alikuwa anataka. Yes, ni mimi. Mimi nikiwa ni, ni mbele tu askari wameenda njia zingine sasa watatafuta mimi. Na mimi nikaponyoka lakini asikari walisunguka na wakakonga na kurikaba hiyo ege <laughs> Now asante ni sana maze I trust you had a good time Mr. Wanyama kona story mob sana hata tungetaka kufanya hii interview for five part series tungefanya but ah I trust tumewapatia sufficient information and I trust you enjoyed it otherwise that's it for the weekend edition see you next week my name is Dr. Kingori <laughs>